right, so I've got an unusual tip. Right, I'm just changing the oil on the pan. I've emptied the oil and it's a bit black, as you can see. Yuck. So now I've got to take the oil filter out. And the oil filter is up there, right? Now you can't get your bloody hands on it very well. So what I'm doing is I've got an old belt, right? And what you do, you slip that around the filter and I'll show you which way to do it. I won't, uh, won't be able to do it one-handed so I'll place this over the filter. Now what it does then is if you want it loosening it needs to be that way round. If you have a look at the loop there look right and then what you do you up that round the filter making sure that the buckle is a bit farther over that side look like that at that angle and then what you do you pull the loose bit here and what it'll do is tighten up and cause it to go round so I'll just put it on and I'll show you got the belt around the, uh, the filter as you can see and I'll put in the, the buckle at the bottom it's hard to show you one hand so let's reach them up there you go and then all you need to do is pull this so and there it goes so now it's loosened it off. Now I can get my hand in, in there, and it just spins off. There it goes. There's the oil. And it's dribbling. Yeah, so that's the way to do it without a tool. So, I hope you like that tip. I hope you've not seen that one before. That's come off very easily with not a mark on it like a new one. So, let me show you again what you do. You hook the belt round it at, with that buckle round there more and then you pull it and obviously this gets tighter around it the harder you pull it and it only takes a small amount just to twist it and uh, once you've got it turning, it comes off. So that's the tip. And that's my invention. I don't know whether anybody else has done it. But I was just thinking, how the bloody hell am I going to get that off without buying a tool, which uh, I didn't want to do. So I hope this helps.